So guys, this week and last week I've been playing niche, and uh, saying this week and last week is a stretch, like probably like a few minutes here and there because that's how much I enjoyed this game. It's a genetic survival game by Team Niche and published by Stray Fawn Studio. And I, I wanted to love this game. I mean, I really, really, really wanted to love this game. In fact, I was super stoked. I was super excited to get it, not on sale, by the way, for $18.99 on Steam because of all the reviews and all the comments that I'd seen on the forum. Then, 10 minutes later, my excitement, it started to churn. It brewed itself into boredom, and I forced myself to keep going, saying, Russ, this game had excellent positive reviews. You watched a YouTube video on it and were excited. Then, after picking the 50th freaking berry and making my fox cat or whatever they are called have incest to preserve the family line in the pack, I became angry. Angry that I was led astray. Angry that one of the coolest concepts for a game was lost due to a lack of activities to do in the game itself. I mean, so whenever I was looking at this game and deciding whether or not I wanted to get it, I, I watched some YouTube videos and it has overwhelmingly positive reviews uh, by tons of people. And my question is, why? Why? You do nothing in this game other than pick berries and spread genes. And like, I, even though that concept is super cool about spreading genes uh, and, and like, you know, survival of the fittest and continental drifts and all these wonderful scientific terms, like bottom line is you just move around and you nest and you eat berries or bunnies and have sex. And as exciting as that sounds, it's not after 10 minutes. I mean, like, sure, having sex for 10 minutes, that sounds like a lot of time and a lot of fun, but playing this game is not. So the concept itself is an amazing concept. I loved it. It drew me in. I mean, uh, uh, genetic diversity, like, what more could you ask for an original concept than that? I love the idea that of of breeding different species and stuff, but the, but the gameplay is so bland, so dry, and so pointless that it made me want to drink Drano and lay in a ditch. How can you put such an amazing concept with such a, a boring use of gameplay? So I think the, the worst kind of review that I could ever give a game that you actually pay for is say that it should be a free mobile app. Um, I would play it while waiting for my grandmother's uh, anxiety pills at the pharmacy. In fact, I might take a few of them as I'm waiting after playing it for the five minutes that I have to wait there. Uh, it's definitely not worth more than $5 in its current uh, iteration. So soundtrack, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it was forgettable. Uh, that's about what all that I can say about it. Even when I tried to make up stories for it, uh, stories from my pack while listening to the, uh, the music of the game, I subconsciously hated myself, developed hemorrhoids, and then slowly bled out. Uh, thankfully, I didn't die. Uh, they were able to get to me in time. Uh, I appreciate your concern. So uh, this is definitely a game that you want to listen to Spotify while playing. Uh, I was going to make my promise. Remember my promise video where I, I was going to play a game for five hours. Five hours in game time. So this game, it made me change my policy to three hours. I just could not do it. I could not suffer, even with my favorite music, for an additional two hours on this game. And as always, we need to look at the replayability. Yet again, a free mobile app is where this game needs to be. Uh, the developers do promise for more updates, and they do have like a good community built around it. Uh, honestly, I'm worried that with the next update, they're just going to add different types of berries to pick. I, and if that happens, I will lose it. So my overall rating is a four on this game, three for concept, it's amazing, and also for the uh, hope that the developers can add something to it to make it a better game and be re-reviewed, and one for cuteness factor, because I don't know, this jackalopes or whatever they're called, they, they are dang cute. So in the spirit of hoping that they can make this game better, I've put the things that I hated. Uh, there's not enough things to do. You guys 
got to add something to do in the game other than run around, have sex, pick berries, kill predators. The genetic diversity promises cool gameplay mechanics, but basically it's just multiple ways of picking berries. Unless you have claws or like shriveled paws, then you can't do anything but have sex. And that's fun. So the genetic concept is cool, uh, but a letdown. Yay, I have panda spots and web feet. Let's go pick berries. The soundtrack was forgettable. I listened to Spotify after the first 10 minutes. Um, it doesn't have a very good sustainable ecosystem. Uh, I thought the biome idea is neat. I like the fact that, you know, different types of genes may be better in different uh, elements and different biomes. But it boiled down to small frames versus large frames in genetics. Um, food should be allowed to be allocated. It was really, really annoying at the fact that uh, pack members that I couldn't stand that I didn't care about I had to feed and uh, and I think it should be more like survival of the fittest that you can allocate where the berries go the predators they were just annoying and nothing more in fact I sacrificed my shriveled arm split snout so I didn't have to pick berries to feed them if uh, they did kill off my entire pack I would be happy to start the game over because the start was the most enjoyable part for me so I will say the thing that I did like about the game is the concept. I think it's spectacular. I think it can be something so great. I think that the niche team has a great idea and they could make it even better. I feel like it just has a small little revamping that can be done to it to make it a really quality game that I would be happy to spend the target price that they have for it. Um, this isn't a game I would even get on sale unless it's $5 or less I do like the fact also that the community uh, that they have a good community based around it and that they are willing to hear other people's ideas I uh, saw some really good suggestions like uh, as of now you have to hunt for a nest to have your characters and that takes up a movement which is a really really annoying i would rather it be uh, like you can make a nest wherever you're at i uh, also think that it would be cool if uh, they could easily designate male versus female species one thing is i lost track of of what sex things were and it was just annoying for me to like have a spreadsheet to keep track of all my animals and what they were and and who i could breed with um also i think it'd be cool like if they had like a little um, are you sure notification whenever there's uh, inbreeding that's about to take place because one of the cool things of the game is that they say that if you share too many of the same genetics that you could have basically a flawed creation and uh, I did it by accident I wasn't even trying to most of the time and that's just because I had too many fox dogs to keep track of and I was too busy picking berries so that the ones that I cared about or didn't care about would live so niche developers i do apologize that i'm hating on your beautiful creation it just was not beautiful to me i um in my professional opinion i want to warn people because i felt like the 1899 that i spent was not a good investment of my money um hopefully you guys can turn it around i'd love to re-review the game uh in the future and uh, and actually enjoy it i do think you guys have a great concept as always guys thanks for watching uh if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh follow us on twitch uh, subscribe to our youtube and put any comments uh, about what you think and maybe some games that you would like to review okay bye